In this video, we will be talking about the iCAPE-V program. CAPE-V is a perceptual evaluation of voice developed by ASHA, and it is typically done on paper. However, the iCAPE-V program allows you to electronically complete the evaluation, as well as record and save the audio samples required to complete the entire evaluation. When you first open the program, this is the window you will see. You see here that it requires a clinician login and you can press select a previously saved clinician by clicking on the pull down menu or adding a new clinician by pressing new. In this case, let's add a new clinician. And then press OK. Here you will now fill out the client information. Take note that the account number, first name and last name are required to be filled out prior to continuing. We'll now click New Client and click New Evaluation. Now you will see the iCAPE-V form open up. If you would like to review the instructions straight from ASHA, please click the ASHA Instructions button and the entire set of instructions on how to complete the analysis will open up. For now, let's close the iCAPE-V form and perform one of the protocols. If you click into the Protocols menu, you will see a variety of protocols required for the iCAPE-V analysis, sustained vowel A, sustained E, all vowel sentence, and so on. For our purposes, let's do a sustained vowel A and select new live input. You will see a prompt opening up telling you what to do and then press OK to start recording. Uh... Press the spacebar to stop recording. Now in our case, let's select an area of data. To do so, hold down the shift button and click the left mouse button and you will see a blue bar pop up on the signal. You can then drag the mouse to select an area, an area of data. Let's now save the signal by going to the toolbar and clicking the auto save selected signal data. It is important to note that the auto save function pulls the information that was entered about the patient and automatically puts it on the iCAPE v form. If you click the regular save button, you will have to input the name of the file as it will not pull the information. You will get a prompt once you have saved it explaining that the file has been saved. Now let's go back into the iCAPE v form by clicking on display iCAPE v analysis in the toolbar. Now here you will see a speaker button and that's what I was mentioning before that when you click the auto save button it automatically pulls the info about the patient, saves the file name, and places it into the iCAPE-V form. You can now press the speaker icon to listen back to the sample. One important thing to note is that you can use the iCAPE-V program as your intake of speech samples for other VisiPitch modules. This is due to the fact that the speech samples recorded in the protocols for iCAPE-V are also many of the same samples used in other VisiPitch modules. All right, now let's rate this speech sample that was recorded. To rate the sample, simply click on the dialog box next to the speaker and you will see a cursor pop up on the iCAPE-V form. Here you see 1A denoting that you are rating 1A, which in this case is sustained vowel A. You can then move the cursor to rate the different parameters such as overall severity, roughness, and breathiness. One other important thing to note is that you can rate multiple lines at the same time. So for example, if I click on line 1, sustained vowel, you will see 1 here, which means I am rating both 1A and 1B at the same time. The same can be said for the second part if you click 2 sentence production, you are rating that entire section at one time. However, if you would still like to rate each one on, on its own, just click on each individual dialog box and you will see the cursors pop up on the iCAPE-V form. One other important thing to note is that you can add your own parameters by double clicking 
and writing in your own parameters that you would like to rate. You will then see a cursor pop up for that parameter and you can rate it accordingly. If you would like to print or save this form, you can do so by clicking on the bottom left buttons in this window. It is really useful to save the IKB form in this way so that the next time the patient comes in for a new analysis, you can open up the form from the previous analysis and compare it side by side as you rate the parameters on the new one. You can then, you can close this form, ensure you save it before closing it, go to the protocols menu and repeat these steps for other protocols to complete the IKB analysis. As you do the other protocols and auto-save them, they will populate into the IKB form and allow you to rate them. You can then just click back into display IKB analysis in the toolbar to open up your previously saved form with the ratings. One other important thing to know is for the computer that the program is on to be password protected to ensure the safety of the information saved on the IKB form. If you have any additional questions, please click on the help menu in the toolbar to review the instructions for use.